Jesus Christ, you have a lot of things. You're only like an essay. Take out items as they are referred on the list. It's a simple task, even for a boosted monkey like you. Alright, fuck you. In this box, you will find two cans of soup, one chicken with rice, and the other vegetable beef. Okay. I'm looking in this fucking box right now, and I see a bunch of empty Reese's Raptors. So I'm assuming that they're there for some reason. We'll find out. There's the vegetable beef right there. Here's the uh, chicken with rice. Thank you. I'll probably never eat those, but great. The next item is a mostly eaten bag of sweet tarts. And I, yeah, I can confirm this is mostly eaten bag of sweet tarts. Thank you. All right. The next, or in this case, items are 10 empty Reese's wrappers. And... Woo! Reese's wrappers. Fucking great. Thank you. Again, I, I appreciate Reese's wrappers. There's nothing I want more. A retarded man once said that life was like a, a box of chocolates. You just don't know what you're going to get. But in this case, we know exactly what you're going to get from you. A whole lot of disappointment with something that could be so great, but it's just empty and worthless inside. Also, I really only put nine wrappers in there. But this is a much further analogy as to how disappointing you are and that you can't even get as much garbage as people expect you to. I feel like this entire box is just a dig at me. Cunt. I know you've been looking at this one since the moment you opened the box, and you probably can't stop looking at it. Now it's time to finally pull it out. The 7.5 inch silicon dildo, slight, lightly used. I'm not touching that. I'm not touching that. That's staying in the box. This monstrosity is a symbol of male... This monstrosity is a symbol of the male patriarchy and should be treasured. I bought this thing in freshman year of college to shoot it out of a potato cannon with nine others just like it. This is the only one I was able to find after shooting them out of your fourth floor dorm. It's gotten slightly harder and harder to find places to hide this thing from visiting family members, so I thought I would send it to you so that you can cosplay as a man for once. Are you implying I don't have a dick my, of my own? Alright. I'm glad you also sent me some floss. <laughs> I'm just seeing all this other shit you put in here. Wow, I'm, I'm glad you sent me this fucking dildo. I appreciate it. The next item on this list is a compliment to D Dongold the dildo. He named it Dongold? Please pull out the little green book. It's a pocket bible that you should probably read sometime, especially after sodomizing yourself with Dongold. Dongold. I have like six of these, and I thought you might need one a little more than most people you know. No, it's fine, dude. I got the family Bible. Given that you're a trap, and God's light needs to shine on everyone and everything. Also, it can help you make your stream an official Christian stream. I will probably never open that. Thank you. Now pull out the 16 Q-tips. No. The next item to pull out are the two black containers of Whataburger Spicy Ketchup. Are you fucking kidding me? Gee, thanks. But do what I really want to eat spicy ketchup that came in the mail? All right, here, look. Maybe I'll just mix it with the soup and make a fucking, I don't know, a, some sort of drool or something. Look at this. Fucking trashed mail. All right. This right here is the best condiment in the world. I implore that you try some. It really is good. It's a nice taste of Texas pride. All right. Well, I'm not sure I trust uh, spicy ketchup that was sent to me in the mail. I, I may use it. I'm not going to promise anything. The next item to pull out is the razor. Oh, thanks. That's exactly what I needed. What the fuck is it? Why is there a coat hanger in here? You sent me an ink carpet cartridge. That's dangerous right there. This shit better be empty. That shit could have exploded. These pills? Cold and flu pills. Okay. I'm not seeing the, um... Look at this. Razor? Okay, I could have sworn I saw the razor just a second ago, but I have no idea where it went now. I might have already taken it out or something. Anyways, this will help you get that hairless body need to assist you in your transition into the female you always knew you were deep down. I will pass on that, thank you. I'll probably just stick to an electric shaver, that's probably easier. Not that I need to make my body hairless because I'm not transitioning whatsoever. Now pull out the Cars Sweet and Salty Mix. I have no idea what the hell that- oh, hey. There's a razor. Oh my god, it's a flex blade. Thank you, Diesel. I appreciate it. Alright, he said, 
They say that Q-tips have the second most ignored warning label besides cigarettes, and that you're not supposed to put them in your ear. This item makes perfect metaphor for your content. We are told that it is shit and will cause mental retardation, just like vaccines do to young children. Let's not push agendas here. But we still find ourselves drawn in by the initial pleasure feeling, pleasurable feeling, until we push it too far and something within us ruptures and we find ourselves in a mental hospital. Yeah, I don't know what ketchup you're talking about, or sweet and salty mix. Oh, that's this. Oh, okay, it's just like a trail mix. Okay. There you go. I noticed early into your rape simulator, I mean streams, you lose some energy. Perhaps it's not having the stamina to keep up with the train that Midlane keeps running on me. So here is a protein packed to go snack to give you the energy you need to get through those troubling matchups and onto the post game rape clinic known as RuneScape. Thank you. The next item on the list to pull out is Breath of the Wild. I really want you to play this game if you ever get a Switch, just not on my dime. I don't care to waste that much money on plebs like you. Go fuck yourself with the item number four. All right, go fuck myself with the deal there. I, and I don't own a Switch, so this is absolutely useless to me. And I open it and it says, fuck you. Thank you. Gee, I, that's exactly what I wanted. An empty case that says, fuck you. Now remove the coat hanger. Finally, we get to the coat hanger. <laughs> I'm glad. It's probably getting in the way of stuff at this point. It, yeah, it definitely has. We got the fucking glasses. The rimless glasses, actually, on here. Oh no, sorry, there's one rim in it. Barely. This is no ordinary co hanger. This co hanger was the key to fixing a horrible mistake your mother made over 20 years ago. I'm not gonna give this to my mother. I'm sure if she tries hard enough, she can fix the mistake then. It's also a symbol that no matter how bad the problem is, no matter how bad you mess up, there is always some way to get out of a bad situation. Please read item number five. That was item number five. Oh, you told me to read the Bible. Okay. Dude, I read the Bible before I sleep every night like a good Christian boy. The next item to show to the world is a metal tire balance weight. I guess that's what this is. Yeah, exactly what this is. Don't know why you sent this to me, but thank you, I guess. This looks like an ordinary tire weight, but trust me, this one is special. It has been your specially crafted with fine enchanted metals to help you even out of the spiraling mess you call your life. Trust me, I know that it's special. I found it in a parking lot while trying to think of what to send you. And maybe it was a sign from God. So that's why you found it in a fucking parking lot. Okay. This is a lot to read. I didn't expect to be reading this much today, to be honest. Oh, that is a flashlight. I didn't see the bottom. <laughs> Fuck, maybe I am retarded. And I'm guessing it's this. Now pull out the fidget spinner. I will not. And that's just more, uh, essentially telling me to kill myself. Thank you. Miscellaneous items that have meaningless value. One pair of sunglasses, half a pack of gum, one screw... One cotton ball used slightly. One slightly used lip balm. You don't have herpes. I'm not going to use it anyways. Thank you. One American camp is wristband keychain. Bare change. I actually haven't seen any spare change in here. Oh no, I see a penny. Thank you. Headache relief and allergy relief. I'm not really sick. Thank you. You hope you made it through the list on stream? If so, I will donate you $5. If not, you get no shekels from me. Your mother would be disappointed in you for not doing what you could for the almighty dollar. Oh, I made it all the way three. P.S. On the last page of this packet lies the most fucked up image you could find. If you're brave enough, go ahead and take a look, but don't blame me if you get scarred from this image. Uh, I gotta see what it is. Just make sure you can't see through here. Okay. Yeah, no, I've already seen that. It's not new. Thank you, though. Not something I could show on stream. It's uh, definitely not stream safe. So I'm gonna go ahead and put all this shit back in here. Actually, I might eat, might eat these. That's good. There we go. Mm, can I describe it? No. Anyways, thank you for the box. I will probably use it as a garbage can for the next um, few months or something. I think that's about it, guys. I think that's about it for this box. Really a uh, real bunch of interesting stuff you sent me here. Thank you. Glad that was the first package I received, full of really thoughtful gifts. Bible. I never throw away a Bible. It will be very interesting if my family walks in later and sees a seven and a half inch dildo on the floor. You see the dildo? Oh yeah, you can, can't you? There it is. On the ground back there.
What was the box for anyways? Uh, it's not for anything. It's just purely, um... I, I got a P.O. box, so I want people to send me shit. That's literally it. 